Hi, this is the second video in the series on solving sequence problems. Okay, in this particular question we've been given a rule, and the rule is we're going to add k, which could be, well, which is a value, and then multiply by 2. Uh, we're given two numbers in the sequence and we're asked to work out a and b. So in order to do that we need to work out the value of k first. So it's the number that we add to 14 and then multiply by 2 in order to generate 46. Okay, so what we're saying is, we put that mathematically, we're going to say it's 46 equals k 14 plus K, so 14, then add K to it, and then multiply by 2. Okay, so then I need to just expand those brackets and work that out, and that'll give us the value of K. So I've got 46 equals 2 times 14 is 28, plus 2 times K is 2K. So if I then take 28 from both sides, and this is just really linear equations here, so hopefully you're fairly familiar with what I'm doing here, I'll just divide through by 2, so therefore k equals 9. So you need to be okay with that, and I will put a link on this particular playlist through to linear equations if you're not sure what I've done there. But to look at, again at the rule, what we're saying is we add 9 and then multiply by 2. Well that's going to give us the ability now to work out a and b. Okay, so in order to generate 14, we do exactly the same. We're saying that we're going to take b, which is the previous term, add 9 to it, which is the value of k as it was, and then we're going to multiply that through by 2. And then really it's just a case of expanding this and solving for b. So 14 equals 2b plus 18. Okay, if I take 18 away from both sides, I'm going to get minus 4 equals 2b, so therefore divide by 2 and b equals minus 2. Okay, so now that's the first part of my question answered. I can say that equals minus 2. And then I do exactly the same exercise in order to work out a. Okay, so I'm going to say that minus 2 has been generated by adding 9 to a and multiplying by 2. Okay, and again I'm going to work that out as minus 2 equals 2a plus 18. If I minus 18 from both sides, that's going to give me minus 20 equals 2a, and therefore a equals minus 10. And that's my final answer that a equals minus 10 here. Okay, so they do take a little bit of thinking about what you're doing basically is translating the written uh, text into a kind of a mathematical form to be able to then solve and answer the question. I hope that's been useful to you. Please do like, uh, subscribe to the site, add a comment below. I'll always come back to you.